Okay, Joel, a little uh, before and after from your down-the-line view today, right? So, um, setup's pretty good, looking at it from this direction. Looking at it from face on, we'll do another video uh, from face on in a second, but we need more forward shaft lean, and we need the head in the middle of the stance, right? So, good takeaway, hands moving inside, good halfway back position, but you can see as you get up to the top, those elbows really separated, right? Yeah good example of keeping the elbows together look at that yep. look how close together they are yep. at the top of the swing right so that's a good example for that so once we started putting the putting the ball between your arms the top of the swing was much better right uh, then as we start to come down and I think because of your sequence to start down we're not starting from the ground up there's a there's a if you look at the pressure you look at the pressure graph the pressure map above your head there that you can see the club starting down um, but there's no real sort of increase into that left foot yeah. right no real increase into that left foot the club moves from p4 to p5 without any real sort of aggressive pushing down into the left foot now the pros in that position right the pros in that position are pushing down the most at p5 there once their left arm gets parallel with the ground they're pushing down the most at p5 right so what this graph does right what this graph does is that white peak there your white peak is mm, there right so you can see you're, you're, you're much further down before you actually start pushing down the most in your left foot, right? So we want to be pushing down the most at halfway down about there. And you can see your club still coming down, 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 coming down there in that position till you actually hit that white peak, right? That white peak is just your maximum force under your uh, left foot, under your forward foot, right? So we've got to start the downswing moving into the left foot um, more aggressively, okay. right, basically. Uh, but you can see as you're coming down, a bit over the top, out, so clubs outside your hands, <coughs> excuse me, clubs outside your hands at P6, and then swinging across the ball <coughs> at P7, and then arms separate, elbows separate, and you've got that big chicken wing coming through, right? So once we get the uh, the ball between your arms, much better at the top. Big difference there, look. Right, big difference there. Uh, if anything, you're too deep, right? Your hands are too much behind your right shoulder, right? Okay. But because before you were coming down over the top, I certainly don't mind you doing things excessively, right? Because now what happens is, if I draw another line through your elbow, for those two plane lines, now what happens coming down from that position? So we want to get up to that position, and then to start the downswing, you start pushing down under that lead foot. You push down, and everything works from the ground up. That's your kinematic sequence, right? And you can see as you do that, as you start to come down, look where that club is now, between the red lines, whereas before, very much above it. So from here, as you come down, now at P6, the club head is behind your hands. Before, club head is outside your hands. So this one on the left, you're going to swing left. This one on the right, you're going to attack the ball from the inside. So you're going to hit pushes and you're going to hit push draws, which is what we want. Yeah. Right. That's what we want. So that, so that, I think all that is arm structure and just being more aggressive into your left foot, right? And then we, we want to keep the head in the middle of the box in the middle of the stance throughout the whole swing right in a perfect world but you can see how coming through now now we're extending our arms how 
we don't see any of this left elbow yeah. coming out first, right? That left elbow is, this was your old swing, your elbow separating, arms bending, and you can see how far apart your elbows are, right? So once you put the ball there, Once we put the ball there, so much better look, so much better. But the only thing is, and this is why we've got to stick down in the middle of your stance towards the end, is your head has moved out to the outside the box. So now, now your upper body, your upper body centre, the centre of your shoulders, is over the centre of your hips. Whereas in a perfect world, the centre of the shoulders would be still be there and your head would still be in the box the centre of the hips will be moving forward and there's your back bend. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Yep. So a lot of a lot of what I want you to take from today is arms arms together more, elbows together. You can take a ball away if you want. Uh, head more in the box, so you've got the stick in the middle of your stance to help you with your awareness. And then once you start the downswing, there, there, more pushing down under this foot and the more you push down the more your legs gonna bend and you're gonna start to see more bend you didn't have bend before okay. right you didn't have there you go right yep. so the old one your knee was out there right there there's not so much bend not so much pushing down. The more you push down under this foot, the more bend we see in the knee. Okay. Just to start the swing. It starts to straighten up through impact and definitely after impact, because everything has to be extending and bending backwards, right? Okay. But that's what we want to see. Good stuff.